Hello there. I've been here. I'm here with some kittens. Do you want to see my kitten? Baby kitten. Look at my kitten. They're sweet. They're so cute. They're so cute. Look at the camera. Look at them. They're adorable. Oh my goodness. I love this guy. Oh, you're so cute. Look at you guys. Adorable. Oh, kittens. Okay. for kittens. I can like love on and then you know, find them a good home. I love kittens. There is a scripture that I actually have not liked. And I love all of God's word. <laughs> but there's one scripture I'm just like I don't know about this word. I don't know. I don't I would hate it. I would People would say it, I would be like, ah, no. <laughs> but uh, God bring it to my attention. You know, I had to let go of that feeling of not liking it. I'm going to share it with you. It's the scripture that says, well, and I don't remember where it is and I don't have my Bible with me, but it says, rejoice and be glad for this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Something like that. And I would always be like, ah, no, ah, ah, ah. Because, like, I'm so tired of the physical suffering that I go through. And the, just like the darkness of this world and the wickedness of people. And they can't see without Christ and they're walking in darkness. It's just, like, really depressing, you know? <sighs> but, um, God was just talking to me about it, and I needed to receive that in my heart, you know, and, and let that stronghold and re resistance to rejoicing and being glad in the day, even though there's evil, go and just choose to rejoice and be glad in it because this is the day the Lord has made, you know, even though it's evil and even though i go through affliction there's scriptures about rejoicing in your suffering so um we should rejoice in our suffering and afflictions they're actually producing an eternal weight of glory and um i think god uses it to help us build character and to humble us and um good things but it just doesn't feel good you know so rejoice and be glad for this is the day this is the day this is the day the lord has made and i will rejoice and be glad in it and it's doing something in me by letting go of that resistance to rejoicing and being glad in it because it's the day the Lord has made. It's amazing when you just receive the scripture, what it does to you, it transforms you and changes you. It breaks strongholds in your life. If you don't know Jesus, let me tell you, he died on the cross for your sins. God is a just God and he has to punish evil and we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Jesus lived the perfect life we couldn't, and he tested death. He tasted death for every man. He took, uh, he took our sins on the cross, and by his shed blood, we're made right before God. If you accept that and believe that, and believe that he rose again, and you know, uh, read the word of God and believe it and live it. The word of God will teach you to walk in righteousness and holiness. I I walked in the wickedest ways before I knew Christ. I was a thief. I was a liar. I was very sexually immoral. I watched rape porn. Yeah, really sick stuff, man. But I'm not ashamed because Jesus forgave me for my sins. And he has taught me the way of righteousness. And through his word and through his Holy Spirit who convicts me. 
I'm so grateful to know him. You can receive the Holy Spirit if you just believe. You just gotta ask God for forgiveness for your sins. You know you've done evil, wicked things. All of us have. But he died on the cross so you could be forgiven. Jesus did. Believe in him. You can receive the Holy Spirit and know God's love. He's a father. He's a loving God. He draws you with ever... He, he draws you with love and kindness. Not what you deserve. He's like, come to me. I want to love on you. I want to heal you. I want to teach you the way of righteousness to walk in the light. I want to set you free from the bondage you're in. We don't know what's good and right and acceptable before God without reading his word. Romans 12, 2 says, Do not be conformed to the pattern of this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what's that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. But we don't do what the good and acceptable and perfect will of God is when we don't know Jesus. We do what the good and acceptable and perfect will of the devil is. For real. I was like, wait, when I came to Christ, I was like, what, pride is bad? Really? I thought pride was good. <laughs> no. No. Jesus teaches us to be humble. He teaches us to serve. And not to think more highly of ourselves than we ought to. And he teaches us to esteem others higher than ourselves. He teaches us a different way. The way of righteousness. The holiness. To walk in the light. You can know his love. He's so real. He's so amazing. I love him so much. Okay. God bless you. And I hope this video touches you. If it did, share it with somebody else so that they can be drawn to Christ. And learn to rejoice and be glad even though you're suffering affliction. Bye-bye.